Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to stop you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. It was a regular Tuesday morning, but I had a feeling that it was going to be a good one. The night before, I had a dream that I was a famous singer and lived in a house with a butler who gave me all the ice cream I wanted. Sweet. That morning, the sun was shining. I had an amazing new outfit I bought with my babysitting money, and Mom promised to pack me cheese doodles in my lunch. Life was good. Everything was going my way. I got my locker open on the first try, for like, the first time ever. I got an A on my English test, and I got assigned three solos in the big choir concert. Throw in some ice cream and you could have convinced me that my pop star dream was coming true. My next class was biology, and that's when my day took a turn. Ms. Addison had just told the class to quietly read the frog anatomy chapter in our textbooks while she ran to the office. We all knew that run to the office was code for going to make a personal phone call, but honestly, we text in class all the time, so you know, you do you, Ms. Addison. Everyone was actually quietly reading, which was very unfortunate for me because I sneezed. But it wasn't just a sneeze. I sneezed so hard, I farted. And everyone heard and laughed. And laughed. I wanted to hide under my desk, dig a tunnel, and disappear. If only I'd packed a shovel. Thankfully, Ms. Addison walked in and started talking about frog intestines. But I knew the giggling and whispers for the rest of the period wasn't just about the frog guts. The rest of the day, it's all anyone was talking about. When I walked through the hall, kids plugged their noses. At lunch, kids were pointing and laughing, literally. I didn't know kids did that outside of movies. Turns out that today I was famous, but for the wrong reason. That night I tossed and turned, I couldn't sleep. How could I show my face in school tomorrow when everyone was calling me (laughs) fart girl? Maybe I could fake sick or transfer to the all-girls private school. Maybe we could move? After a night of no sleep, I tried to explain to my parents why we needed to move or at the very least transfer schools immediately. If not, sooner if possible. But for some reason, they didn't see my logic. They definitely didn't buy my last-ditch story that I had lice. Tough crowd. After I was dragged to school against my will, I decided the only way to confront the situation was to hide in a bush until I heard the bell ring. I got out of the car and started speed walking to the bush that would save me. But on the way, my friend Jane spotted me and shouted my name. Oh boy. They say that all you need is a friend, but what I really didn't need right now was a friend screaming my name and alerting the school that (laughs) Fart Girl had just arrived for another day of humiliation. Just as I was about to tell Jane that she ruined my life, I saw Barry from biology class talking to Principal Dove. Oh no. Was Barry making sure Principal Dove knew about what happened? Could I get expelled for expelling gas? But then, you'll never believe what happened. Principal Dove told Barry, have a good day, son. And Barry said, at a volume that everyone on the front lawn could hear, thanks, love you. Barry froze and looked around hoping no one heard him. But Of course, we all did. And everyone laughed, including Principal Duff. Barry turned beet red and looked like he wanted to hide in the bush now. It was then I realized every one of us is going to do or say something embarrassing at some point. And it's gonna seem like the end of the world. Until the next person embarrasses themselves and everyone moves on. And sooner than you think, no one will remember your unfortunate toot in biology class. I think. Right? Right?